morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you find yourself. My name is uh, Dr. Samuel Jacob Sabi, and I want to welcome you to the deal of life. The deal of life is an initiative to bring inspiration to inspire and to bring hope to the hopeless it is designed to pull you out from a challenge into a destination of hope and so as you listen to this audio today i will encourage you to share with your friends and your families and uh, just as I am becoming a blessing to you you may be a blessing to others and so today I want to talk to you on the subject dealing with problems oh yes you heard me right dealing with problems you can be hindered from making progress if you ignore your problems could you be letting little challenges grow into huge obstacles not by dealing with them You see, when faced with un unpleasant situations, it is tempting to ignore them and not deal with them. The path of least resistance is an attractive one. And the effort required to deal with the problems sometimes seem to immerse at times it's not so much that the problem is big but that it requires us to admit something about ourselves or others that we just don't want to face the trouble is you won't find a solution by saying there is no problem precious one you see the longer you take to deal with your problem the bigger they will grow and the harder it will be to sort them out They are like weeds that grow in a beautiful garden. If not recognized and uprooted early enough, they will dominate the garden and choke the beautiful flowers in the garden. In fact, you will forget there was ever a lovely garden to begin with. Secondly, when ignore problems, see, problems may become accepted as a norm. I, I, I remember, you know, uh, once upon a time, uh, working uh, in my office and uh, <clears throat> we run out of uh, uh, supplies and so we improvise and 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 the interesting part is that because we always improvise 
uh, it got to a point that we even forgot to realize that it was a problem my mind you know had become accustomed to the abnormal to set an extent that it even became normal and i absolutely did not even think there was any other way out to do my job well someone listening to me take a moment and reflect on this there are many abnormal situations and circumstances in our lives that we have become used to and comfortable with to the extent that we do not see the need for change it is possible for you to become used to poverty and lack it is even possible to get used to mediocrity and failure ignore the problem long enough and it may no longer become a problem to you the trouble is you will not be living the kind of life you should be living making do is not always a good thing and lastly I want to say that a problem that is not dealt with can lead to upper problems or other problems. Unfortunately, problems are very social creatures and they will eagerly invite other problems into your life if you harbor them for too long. By not controlling one, you may be opening the door to many others. It's the domino effect. One action or lack of it, in this case, can lead to many different consequences. So how do you deal with problems? The first and the best way is to change the way you think about problem. The way you see the problem is the problem. Oh, can I repeat that? The way you see the problem is the problem. See, I like to think of set things as challenges rather than problems because problem is a dead end word it leaves no room for solution when you regard something as a challenge instead it leaves your mind free to think about how to respond to it if you see it as a temporary obstacle you are more likely to feel empowered and able to deal with it see bishop oyedepo uh and uh, pastor chris who are both pastors you know say that many people have asked them whether they have ever have problems in their lives as they have always seemed to be having it easy and things are always working out for them you know when i read their books their response is that they don't remember having problems they added that perhaps the problem came but they did not recognize it you see their mindset is one of dealing with things as they come and knowing that they have the answer to anything that they face. As they are on God's side, I am sure they cannot fail to have the answers. A 
second way to deal with a problem is to focus on the solution instead. See, focusing on the problem too much may actually make it impossible to solve. This can make the problem so big in your mind that it obscures or overshadows any possible solution. Try instead to think about what life would be like if the problem were solved. This brings your creativity into play and your mind will soon find ways to solve them. One of my greatest philosophers, according to Albert Einstein, you cannot solve a problem with the same kind of thinking that created it. A third way to deal with problems then is to alter your viewpoint. One way of doing this is to distance yourself emotionally from the problem. See, try looking at the problem as an impartial observer and not as someone actively involved in it. This unique technique will not only make the problem seem less daunting, but will also help you to find possible solution. When you are emotionally involved in something, it clouds your judgment and dulls your creativity. I, I hope you are getting blessed. But finally, let me say this. Laugh at your problems. Everybody else does. It is important to realize that any problem, no matter how big it may seem at the time, has a solution and it's usually not the end of our lives as we may often feel. But as long as you are breathing, no problem is beyond solving. There is always hope to those that look for it. Take life in your stride. Do not get bugged down by it and don't ever forget to enjoy it. A free and a fun mindset alone will go a long way in helping you to deal with your problems. But let me tell you this as I conclude. Look ahead with confidence. Stay focused on what you want and not what is in your way. Don't be pushed by your problems. Be led by your dreams. Once again, I hope you have been touched. I hope you are blessed. You are all you can be. Go on and be it. God bless you. Thank you. Try it when you're not all right.